Hi everybody, it is Monday afternoon. Um, it's still raining outside. I've been busy doing lots of stuff today, trying to get some work done for Parkview. So I thought that this would be a really good time to read and upload another book for you guys in case you guys are all starting to get a little bit what we grown-ups call stir-crazy. It means you haven't been outside in a while, you can't run around. So this might be a good time for you to take a little bit of a brain break and check out another one of my favorite books. This time I'm going to read one of my most favorite books. This comes in a series. I have to go try to find them in my house, but I do have more. Um, this one's called Jillian Jigs. I got this book a really long time ago when my oldest baby, who's now 16, was just a tiny little girl. And then I loved it so much that we got a couple more of them. And then it's funny because about six and a half years after my first little girl was born, we had another little girl and we named her Jillian. So it was kind of funny. This is Jill's book. This is called Jillian Jigs. It's kind of gives us a little idea what this book is going to be about. A long time ago, when she was quite small, Jillian Jiggs, she wore nothing at all. Those were the days her mother would sigh as she looked round the room and started to cry. For Jillian Jiggs liked to dress up and play, and this made a mess in her room every day. Jillian, Jillian, Jillian Jigs, it looks like your room has been lived in by pigs. Later, I promise, as soon as I'm through, I'll clean up my room. I promise, I do. You guys can actually see the part, that's our messy room, where we changed our book to say Jillian Smith in our book, because it was for my daughter. Now, Jillian meant every word that she said, but later the promise flew out of her head. When Rachel and Peter started to shout, Jillian had to, she just had to go out. There was no way she was cleaning that room. Oh, look at the boxes, yippee, hooray. It's hard to believe someone threw these away. I'm mad about boxes. That means she likes them. Boxes are fun. No one will guess who we are when we're done. I'm gonna take the boxes and she's gonna make something. No one would guess, but a mother would know. A mother could tell by the tip of a toe. Let's show you this page first. That's what they made. And then there's the mom. Look at her face. She's like, ah! Jillian, Jillian, Jillian Jakes. It looks like your room has been lived in by pigs. Later, I promise. As soon as I'm through, I'll clean up my room. I promise, I do. Look what the mom thought about that. She brought that little box girl right back in the house. We'll help Mrs. Jiggs, we'll do it, don't worry. We'll all work together, we'll clean in a hurry. They started to clean up her room, it is true. They started to clean. But before they were through, they're working on it. Jillian thought up a game that was new. They had to stop cleaning. What else could they do? Let's dress up as pirates. Tie sails to the bed. Heave ho, you landlubbers! Full speed ahead! Instead of cleaning, they were pirates. They dressed up as dragons and they dressed up as trees. Here they are, they're being dragons. And they're being trees because that's fun. They dressed up as bad guys that never said please. They dressed up as chickens, cooped up engaged. They turned into monsters who hollered and raged. They cackled like witches. 
They stirred and they boiled. Then they were royalty, pampered and spoiled. They tiptoed and twirled like little light fairies. They made themselves wings and they flew like canaries. Those are birds. Whenever they thought that was it, they were through. She changed all their costumes and start something new. Then Jillian's mother came in with her mop, took one look around. I bet you guys can imagine how this is going to go. Fainted. Kerplop. She is on the floor. She's so shocked at the mess. Jillian. Jillian. Jillian Jigs. It looks like your room has been lived in by pigs. Later. I promise as soon as I'm... Start cleaning this minute. This second, not later. I want this room tidy and I want this room straighter. The mom is mad. Uh, you'd better go now, Rachel and Peter. I'll see you tomorrow when everything's neater. It was time for her friends to go home so she could get to work. I'll show you the cover again. That's a pretty good one. This one we really can't get anymore. They don't print this one up anymore. So this is one of my favorites. This one was made, let's see how long ago. Look, oh, you can even see the note in the front. That was somebody wrote a note to my oldest daughter when she got this book. This was written, this is from 1985. So it was kind of old when my daughter got it and she was born in 2003, but this is pretty cool. So I hope you guys like that one. Um, I will try to post another video for you guys tomorrow. Make sure you keep checking in and I will keep checking in on you and stay well. I miss you guys. Mwah.